master maker. <laughs> much obliged, much obliged. Um, my first one, I really wish to marry Margaret Carla to uh, be here because all these months I told her uh, I'm going to write a sonnet, I'm going to write a sonnet. Still haven't, until now. <laughs> sonnet number eight. <laughs> By some source of cosmic providence, along this fretting beauty came. Her eyes of opal granted me confidence, for this was an instinct I could not tame. From your stunning look I received inspiration, whether it was a flirting wink or striking pose. Such an honor it is to have such an in-depth conversation with a flourishing flower more mighty than a rose. There is, however, a burning confession that I have always wanted to tell. It is about your generous smile and remarkable expression. With this ring and vow, sound the perpetual bell. You have jump-started my heart and made it whole. I shall love thee now and forever with the very depths of my soul. Thank you. Off the window. The other side is forbidden content being dusted off the window. The other side is a white blinding light with levitating cities. The other side is that first step into real worldhood. The other side is your addiction dissipating and truly being cleansed. The other side is a Jim Morrison cliche ready to be broken on through. The other side is a mountain of echoing proportions. Shout to hear yourself shout. The other side is that angel-devil shoulder confliction you share with your tri-polar self. The other side is your flame of security, wishing you are well from paradise. The other side is a symbol of soft love and reassurance. If there is no more room on the windowsill, you and I flying on the stars, you and I reaching the promised path, you and I solving the world's relationship problems, open the doors to the other side. What is your perception? Thank you. The last one I originally wrote for the uh, for the band, uh, the new acoustic folk band, Leaves of Grey, but they're not here, so <laughs> I got this uh, title from the, uh, the Torah. Actually, it's called the Tent for the Sun. Wonder when, wonder why, wonder what a wonderful spot of shade is doing in a virtual forest, captivating nature lovers, cultivating plant life. Describing the ideal entity, materialized into ghostly vines, beckoning branches, stardust solidified. This is why the leaves of green have not told me what they have seen. Careening side to side, childhood innocence. The knight of the land prays before his final fighting chance. Which way does the wind blow? Same direction as the carnivorous snow. Two folk singers pitch a tent for the sun. Love your rising face, love your setting landscape. Romantic village, Victorian confession, modern age destruction. This is why the leaves of green have told me not to make such a scene. All right. Winter's wink lies on the perfection of a destined full tilt. Full circle, full metal jackets are handed to everyone in full swing. Two folk singers pitch a tent for the sun. Love your high notes, love your low secrets. First come, first second serve, third dazzle. Wonder who, wonder where, wonder how the word was spread about this contemporary legend. Telephone tales, yearning yarn, soul-bursting stories inscribed in text that sages dare to read, that mages long to understand. Like the beauty in a, di in a diverse dialect, 
This is why the leaves of gray have swung up from the ground and have blown me away. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Uh, our next public life reader is... Uh...